What's going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in. Happy Friday the 13th. I don't know, y'all. I'm such in this Halloween spirit. All right. Um, today is a great day to be magnificent. It's all about magic. It's all about your inner magic. It is a good time to do release rituals and, you know, banishing everything that is old that you need help with. When it comes to getting rid of, all right, uh, I'm excited to see what we're going to be touching on today. All right. I don't have nothing written down. This is just coming. So whatever God wants me to touch up on, that's what we're going to be speaking about. All right. Archangel Michael and Alegwa, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I channel what the collectives need to know for today. Right. Happy Friday. What's coming to you um for the weekend so let's tap in collectives i'm feeling so good um, i'm drinking some tea that i've made all right i make my own tea sometimes i put a little bit of stuff in it today we are doing mug work all right so for a lot of you guys um if you want to heighten your dreams or your intuition or just get that clarity mug work all right it is very very good for that Okay, wanting to astro travel or practice that, definitely drink mugwort, the, the actual herb. All right, so let's see. And it's also, this is giving me a lot of magic. All right, it's also a magical herb connecting you to the spiritual realm. All right, so yeah. Ooh, y'all y'all going to need that because somebody out here doing magic. <laughs> you got to be on your toes, collectives. All right, this is a time to be heightening up on your protection rituals. All right, on your release rituals, especially banishing. There is a distorted feminine that is somehow trying to siphon your energy and she's out on a prowl. All right, so you got to meet her at the motherfucking doorstep. You hear me? You got to you got to you got to give these people what they asking for. This is a time to reclaim your generational strength, if you know what I mean. This is a time, all right, to be showing more than your wounds, baby, that your ancestors then left you. All right, this is a time for you light beings. That is feeling like somebody is being a vampire, ciphering your energy, lurking in the dark, doing things and trying to alter the direction of something, baby. It's time to tap into the dark, baby. It's time to tap in. This is what you need. This is what you need. You need not to fear and tap into that dark. That's going to be different for a lot of y'all. All right. But this is a time where the veil is very thin. You know who this person is, all right? You know who this person is that's lurking, all right? Trying to find stuff, all right? You got to meet them at the door, all right? So tighten up, all right? This is somebody that is ciphering others' energy, all right? They just they just looking for a prey. And you know why? It's because a lot of these comics are, have been taken over. Their vessel, it's not them no more. It is another spirit, all right? That is using and utilizing their vessel to do the things that they want them to do. And right now it's ciphering energies because the enemy need, they, they need energy. That's why they not getting nowhere because a lot of us divine feminines already nipped that in the butt. You hear me? We already nipped that in the butt. So they're no longer able to siphon our energy. So they might be trying to cipher in somebody else's energy that is connected to you. These people look you up online. These people siphon others by talking about you. All right. But one thing, let me tell you. Once somebody choose to make the conscience decision to try to siphon or bring negativity your way. All right. They done allowed your energy and your ancestors energy to manifest anywhere that they done brung up your name. Okay. So 
So yeah, you got a little, you got a little vampire over here, a psychic vampire. These be the ones that abuse terror. These be the ones that are watch terror all day and never make a change. These be the ones that talk about the terror readers. These be the ones that try to get readings on you so they can see inside past. All right. Beyond a certain point. These are the ones that send, send to you psychic attacks. Okay. And if you vibrating high enough, it's not getting to you. Okay. Yeah. Numerology. Yeah. You're definitely not caught in the matrix. <laughs> you definitely been getting your signs and synchronicities. You definitely been, been moving in silence because you're already connected to source. <laughs> this person is praying on you. All right. You already sense it, but you got shit to do. All right. See, the thing is our ancestors deal with the things that we can't see so we can focus on the things that we can. And right now you tapped in. You're receiving the downloads. You're receiving the codes. You're receiving the signals. All right. Actually, you might be watching them. You hear me whole time. They trying to watch you somewhere else and you got a whole bull's eye view on their ass. You hear me? You ain't worried. So protect yourself. Heighten up. Tighten up on your spiritual practices. All right. Tap into the dark if you need to. Just remember to stay in the light. <laughs> okay. Remember to stay in the light. Yeah. Change perception. Somebody clouded. You hear me? This is, this is some ancient ancestral demonic force. You hear me? That's been around ciphering families, energy through causing a lot of chaos and confusion and manipulation. All right. God has been telling this person, change your perception. All right. What you see, what you think is clear is not clear. God work. I'm hearing God work in mysterious ways. He's been getting even. Okay. This could even be a sibling. This could be a, a aunt. This could be any other female. All right. That is an energy vampire. And that caused nothing but chaos and confusion. Jazabels and all of that stuff. All right. God has been telling them. <laughs> what you think you see, it is not what you're seeing. All right. Things is not what they seem right now. Okay. Things is not what they seem because again, a lot of us is paying no damn mind to these energy vampires because God is handling it. You hear me? God handling it. All right. Somebody need to change their perception. All right. Because somebody is tapped in to some form of divination or they are, they have access to the divan in a different kind of way. All right, throat chakra, I'm telling you, and they've been expressing this. Somebody throat chakra clear. Somebody throat chakra activated. And that's the thing. Somebody don't like what you speaking on because what you speaking on is the truth and they don't know how you doing it. They don't know what the fuck these room means. They don't know how the fuck you know what the fuck you know, baby. You hear me? They don't like what you speaking, collectives. Look, self-healing. All right, you out here healing people. You out here healing Zavon feminines and Zavon masculines. <laughs> All right, that is what you doing. Okay, you not worry. God said, worry about what you can see. And we going to handle the shit that you can't, baby. You hear me? You out here encouraging people and influence people to do a lot of self-work, healing, and, and prioritizing themselves. All right? That can only come from somebody that has done it for themselves already.
All right. Let's get one more card. All right, Hermit. Hermit, soul searching and alone time. So somebody, somebody did did the work in Virgo season. You hear me? Somebody went got back to their roots in Virgo season. All right, you started to work on your craftsmanship. You started to work on your gifts. All right, you went inside your shell and went within and stopped looking without. I mean, outside of yourself. All right. And you broke the matrix. The new morale, this get this is my broke the matrix. You're no longer in a matrix. You are catching every sign and synchronicity that God is connecting you um, to. All right. A lot of these comics don't see clear. <laughs> they can't see clear. Uh, you know, God has been warning them, change their perception. What you think, you know, what you think you see is, is not what you are very clouded. There's a lot of storms. There's a lot of crying. There's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of rain. Change your perception. All right. Things are not what they seem because everybody else that surrounds in this energy vampire is doing the work, whether they're learning or being influenced or teaching or leading. All right, so let's get some more. All right, spirit, give me more on this. Um, this energy. Anxiety. These people are under pressure. Collectives, you have a lot of people under pressure right now. Not only are they dreading you coming up and being blessed on purpose. All right. They are truly suffering with the economy right now. Health, bills, money, family, security, stability, love, rent, taxes. A lot of worrying. All right. These people are under a lot of pressure right now because none of their tactics is working no more. All right. Enough of us are waking up. <laughs> these people are under pressure. This is this could be an air sign or an earth sign. These people are under pressure. All right. Yeah, because everybody is learning a lesson with these people. All right. The more we wake up, the more we're able to wake whoever else want to wake up. All right. And it's already enough of us. All right. We don't need to be begging nobody to wake up. It's already en enough of us to handle people like this because we already know they're not in their divine feminine energy. They scared. All right. They not only scared of us, they scared of their living situation right now. They don't know how they're going to make ends meet. You know why? Because they never thought the shoe would be on the other foot. They kept playing with it. You hear me? The divine feminine energy is rising, baby. And it's enough of us to inspire, inspire more. All right? So divine feminine energy is in the energy of receiving and allowing. We are not going against the universe for what? These people don't even know how to trust themselves. You think they know they know how to trust the universe? These people can't even sacrifice a job. You think they're going to trust in the universe? These people can't even sacrifice men. You think they're going to sacrifice anything the universe tells them to do? No. They are deaf, dumb, and blind to the streets. And that's where they're going to stay. All right? Because Pluto, been in a sign of Capricorn, which is an Earth sign, all right, since 2008. All right, everything is being uncovered. All right, all these people, you know, 
thinking like they had all everything planned out. Oh no, you hear me? Because it was false, it was fake, it was dishonest. All right, they cheated their way to the top for some of them. All right, and they never even really got to feel the experience of being at the top because they were really, really losers. They were sore losers. All right. These are people that didn't want nobody to get more money than them. These are people that was running off on a plug. These are people that was doing people dirty. All right. And expecting to live a good life. <laughs> all right. We out here learning lessons. All right. We out here sacrificing. So you think God is going to let anything fly when we had to learn? And uh, and and. We learn in a lesson, so that means that it's not impossible. All right, so these people are under a lot of pressure. They have no stability. They have no resources. They have no mind and understanding to accumulate those things. All right, while you're out here learning the lessons, all right, tapping into nature, breaking out the matrix, all right, inspiring other motherfuckers to heal, all right, doing the work, not afraid to go back in your shell when need be and go in hermit mode. All right, but this is not hermit mode. No more. This is a time to be alive. We outside. You hear me? We outside. We made it to the finish line. What you think after that? It's, it's, it's God going to let us relax for a little while? It's time to celebrate. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Go on, Paige. Joe. Go on, Paige. Go on, Paige. Go on, Paige. Thank you. Go on, Paige. Go on, Paige. Go on, Paige. Shut up. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, so, um... Yeah, so you out here doing the work, so it's 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 harvest time. It's rewards time. All right, you learned your lesson with these people. All right. You cleanse the energy. All right, you started to pick up a new belief system or a new spiritual routine or practice. All right. You started to really understand what it means to cleanse your energy from toxic people trying to drain yours. All right. There's no negative energy that's around you right now. You, you have a fresh start collectives. All right. This is a season for you to breathe. All right. For a lot of you guys, you are living rent free for a lot. This is a rent free season and apply that to your life however you want. But God is saying this is a rent free season for you. Okay. Cat lady. All right. So it's this cat lady, y'all. <laughs> she has been coming up in my readings every time I have been using this deck. All right. This is the lady that has been sad. All right. This is the lady that has been causing a lot of chaos because they are mourning a breakup or a situation in their life. Okay? This is somebody that was trying to prolong somebody's single status. All right? Because of their life. And now they're processing and grieving a loss because Pluto was here. So he didn't rip the covers off everything this person was trying to hide. You hear me? The same cat lady, whoever liked cats or, or was doing something with cats. I don't know. But... Child, this lady keep coming out and it, she she's the one. All right. Because for a lot of you guys, all right, these masculines is learning from you. <laughs> all right. These masculines is learning from you. Hold the one. Let me plug my charger. All right. These masculines is learning from you. And not only romantic relationships. You know, your homeboys are learning from you. All the masculines are learning from you. Don't think that um, these masculines don't watch um, Terror Reader's channels. All right, so these masculines like this, where the comics is like this, 
trying to siphon somebody else's energy, okay? Because now they faced with having to heal by themselves, having to do something by themselves, get a job, get, get some type of inspiration. All right, go in hermit mode. Just the thing, they're not going in hermit mode when they were supposed to get in, go in hermit mode. Things are being stripped from them now to where they're being pushed in hermit mode at a time where everybody lit. <laughs> You know, it's this collectives. It is this, the internet. For a lot of you guys, they are obsessed with you. Like they literally don't want to watch you, but they cannot not see what you're doing. They see a lot of people loving your pictures, liking your pictures or liking your, your, your things. All right, a lot of people are shocked and amazed about the content you're putting out there because it's allowing you to vibrate high or them to vibrate high. All right, but these people are so distracted on the internet where they're not even utilizing the internet how it's supposed to be. All right, you're supposed to be felt in many different places that you can't be physically on the internet, like connecting with people that you don't know or a resource something. These people are choosing to watch you be celebrated because and they are actually inspired. And instead of saying, hey, I'm inspired, they want to siphon people's energy. Getting nowhere. All right. Yeah, because look, they isolated. A lot of these cards are isolated. But how isolated are they when they have time to be on that Internet? You hear me? How broke are they when they got time to get on that internet? You hear me? It's them. They want to be helped just enough so people can con continue to do for them and pity them. It's not a season, a time, or an era for that. It's too much of us waking up that there's no, there's no justifying while you still lacking. You know what I'm saying? So... Let's get some terror out here and then we are going to actually close out the reading. And this is going to be for the Friday the 13th. All right. Remember to um, tighten up on your spiritual practices. All right. Always ask God for the um, best way you should go about a certain situation and protect yourself from these people because they have, they're literally exhausted. They're doing anything now, literally anything. They don't even care how they looking no more. Spirit, give me more on this um this energy vampire. Who, who is this? Oh, they feel jealous. They feel defeated. They are in an energy, a spirit of defeat done got them. So that comes with jealousy. That comes with revenge. That comes with rage. All right. They feel defeated. All right. And love. All right, it could be a queen of wands. All right, this queen of wands feels defeated in love. Whoever this queen of wands is to you. All right, queen of wands is usually somebody that is fiery. And right now with this energy vampire, this person, you'll get around them and they always mad. Or they're always on the internet devaluing themselves trying to condemn or judge others um the queen of wands in this energy is somebody that suffers with anxiety but tries to play it off and project negativity on the world okay <laughs> what the cat it's the cat lady <laughs> it's the cat lady this person was like somebody that always tried to prolong somebody else's um single status because they shit wasn't secure all right this was a friend that wanted to look like the beauty the most beautiful one out of the group and they won't even tell you that something is wrong with you this is like the queen of wands all right but they feel defeated in love they feel rejected all right they feel rejected So instead of healing, they're going around ciphering other people's energy and trying to hurt them as much as they are hurt. Okay, but that don't make it right because what the fuck? We always hurt. 
Okay? They get in what they deserve. All right? A lot of... Don't let these people fool you, collectives. A lot of shit. It is not going right for a lot of people. And it is not for us to laugh. And it's not even for us to want to know when they were supposed to get their karma. But they are getting their karma, collectives. And it's hitting them in this earthly realm. Okay? So these people, this Queen of Wands is feeling defeated. Spirit, what? why does she feel defeated? What is her... What is her energy towards the collective? Oh, because your structure is strong. Your love life is strong. You're prolonged, single ladder. You're, you're, you're no longer single now. All right. For a lot of you guys, you're dating. You're doing this. All right. But you're, you're, you're twin flaming and soulmate and, you know. You are on fertile soil. You, you, for some of you guys, you found your kingdom spouse. Look at y'all. A lot of you guys getting married. All right. And that's the problem she has with the collectives. All right. Because the nine of wands is somebody that keep trying and trying and trying and never give up. All right. She's been trying and trying and trying with that same two of cups and it's not working. All right. Fuck around. You probably came in. Your shit strong in a couple of months. And she's been doing this for nine years. But that do not mean you project that energy on nobody and trying to siphon people's energy, prolonging um, on on an on a internet, acting a fool. All right? They was waiting on that opportunity for love, but they always remain stuck. All right? Because they were searching just in one place. All right? For a lot of you guys, these comics was after money. Okay. For a lot of you guys, they didn't pay they way in. They didn't fuck they way in. All right. Or to end up still having to wait. All right. But that don't have nothing to do with you. Yo, what what did you do? What did you sacrifice? Right? That's not for nobody business. You don't owe nobody no explanation about what you went through that now you're getting blessed. All right. You don't know why God chose you, but you chose it to be blessed right now in this very moment with one card. All right. This person is a fighter. They never gave up. And that's the problem. All right. When are you going to understand it is time for you to to give it up and go somewhere else and find 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 a new destiny or a new experience? All right. These people chose a conscious decision. To keep going after somebody that didn't that didn't want to pursue them, all right? They kept feeling and being in an energy of defeat, all right? That brings out jealousy. So that means that this queen of wands, whoever that is to you guys, they started to feel not beautiful. They started to have low self-esteem. They started to feel like you look better than them. They started to compare your weight. This is the type of energy... Because the Queen of Wands usually is that confident, but that confidence could get into rage when somebody that's more beautiful come in the room. If you're not balanced. All right. Remember, fire is masculine energy. They got to learn how to get out of that and be more soft or use that fire through emotions. And that comes with self-control. These king, these Queen of Wands don't have no self-control. All right. And that's the reason that got them in a lot of um downfalls and blockages in their life so moving forward all right this person kept trying kept trying to pursue something that was blocked and retaliated against you out of jealousy because your shit was stabled simple the four of wands that's stability all right and they still stuck it's like their power right their power wasn't working no more Whatever that they was doing to try to gain control, and that may be the problem. A lot of these Queen of Wands, it's the masculine energy. The magician, that's Mars. All right, that's masculine energy. They never got nowhere. All right, because you know why? This is a time where the divine feminine energy is rising. That's why these masculines is choosing another way. Because they now experiencing divine feminine energy. The, this Queen of Wands... Their masculine energy, their threats, their overpowering, their their abuse was not working no more. 
<laughs> like literally nobody was scared no more. Nobody was threatened no more, you know, and it made them sit and realize like you got to come up with something else because this shit not working, especially in love. Is what I'm seeing. Yeah, look. It was like a lot of shit was brung to these queens of wands, these karmic energy. All right. When it came to actually evidence on why it's needed to separate or validation, they didn't want to hear it. They didn't want to hear it. These masculines or even other people in their life, like friends and family, been telling them like, hey, I'm ready to start something new. I'm ready to start something fresh. And I can't do that when you follow me and doing all this crazy shit, thinking your power going to work. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to hear that. They were comic. Y'all got to remember, everybody is not good and everybody is not of the light or else the planet wouldn't be under a silent attack of dark against light energy and right now these comics of course is not gonna say i'm with the dark they don't believe in god they going through so much fucked up shit right now from choosing an enemy that they think that god done forgot about them and this is just god saying i don't gotta oh nobody fucking the explanation you're gonna get this work okay it is a fucking battle between light and dark energy right now and the dark is losing <laughs> And they losing bad. They losing bad. All right. There were plenty of times where people, I'm getting like people, I'm getting like even children with this page energy. They kept saying like, this is why explaining, this is like news coming. This is like uh, evidence or like validation. And look what you're met with, with that rage of the queen of wands, not knowing how to, Control a fucking self. Like, how, how old are we? Are we eight? All right. So they were just acting out of comic energy. Yeah, look. And I feel like a lot of these masculines, I'm telling you, you think if we empresses and high priests, you don't think these masculines are emperors and hierophants and kings of swords. And for a lot of you guys, it's Archangel Michael that's been guiding these masculines, believe it or not, even if the masculines don't know. All right. A lot of these masculines are really, really strong and strong men when they want to be. You hear me? A lot of these men turned their back on these distorted feminines recently because they started you know, the planets and the, everybody started to show, show their true colors. These demonic forces, these Jezebels, these spirits, these comics, they can't hold their shape no more because they getting done so dirty by the universe because they didn't listen that they are enraged. So how they used to hold it in to get what they want, they can't. <laughs> they can't. Plus, they can't control the divine masculines no more. That's the kicker. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with these divine masculines, but at one point they could not gain stability or control without these comics. But it was until enough of us divine feminines rose to the point where we can now teach the other ones divine feminines. All right. And help our masculines. That's all we needed. We don't need a fucking, we just need our tribe. <laughs> We don't need to try to force everybody because everybody clearly is not of the light. Is a false prophet going to tell you it's a false prophet? No, they be in church and all of that. These, these masculines been sleeping with the devil. <laughs> but God is saying it's not about the mistakes. We not supposed to be the judge. Who the fuck are we? All right, karma going to come. It's about the corrections and believe it or not, whether you could see it or not, it's not for you to see. These masculines is speaking up for themselves. These masculines are making a head over heart decisions because they're waking the fuck up like, oh no, this is not it. This is not it. All right. So I see Archangel Michael leading these masculines. <laughs> you hear me? Having their mind right. Clearing out their mind. So they could think better. You hear me? Queen of Cups, Chariot. 
That's what they need. They need a woman with love. They need a woman with her heart chakra open. See, divine feminine, your heart chakra open. You and your queen of cups energy. All right. You already moving it forward in Archangel Michael. Chariot. You hear me? You already in motion towards your no no, your destiny. You already on your purpose. All right. God is leading these masculines to the divine feminines that are actually meant for them. Contract. Okay. Heart chakra open, able to see things from a different view because you're not trying to condemn no more. You don't get nothing out of that. Your heart chakra open. All right. Everything is moving forward for you, uh, moving forward for you, divine feminine in this life. You've been learning lessons. So now it's just your duty. And it's a part of your journey. To help. When the universe is telling you to help, because that is a way that the universe is helping you. I mean, helping somebody else with their prayers through you. All right. That's the universe answering somebody else's prayers through you. All right. And a lot of people can't do that, but you can. You don't have no, no animosity in your heart. Why should you look? You, you literally abundant. You are balanced out in your masculine energy. You know when to move. You know when to calm down. You know when to let your masculine lead. You know, you know he wear the pants. I don't care. My masculine wear the pants. <laughs> Cause why the fuck would I want to wear the pants? I don't care. <laughs> but this is the type of energy you getting. Giving. You in your divine feminine energy. You in your soft girl era. You want to relax more. You want to sit on your throne. All right. You're very intuitive. All right. You already know when things are coming for you. So that there's no need to like get up. All right. You're very privileged right now. It's like you're being escorted by Archangel Michael through life. You're being escorted on a chariot, literally through life. Your health is good. Your wealth, health is wealth, right? Your spiritual hygiene. All right. Divine Feminine and this Queen of Cups chariot energy, you are somebody that is prioritizing self-love, self-work, and self-care. All right? You're doing it. And a lot of these masculines are being guided. Okay? Um. So, Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Cups. It's history. All right, it's the love, all right? It's the fresh thought that they're thinking about. It's like somebody, a lot of these masculines that y'all have been in contact with, all right? It is that experience. Um, For some of you guys, y'all got history. And the history, the good outweighed the bad. This is like a fresh start back to something that y'all already started. For some of you guys, that's not going to be for all. But the food card is literally a fresh start. The Six of Cups is like somebody in, from the past that you had history with that maybe is a friend. Um, but in this thing, it's looking like a relationship. This is somebody that you knew from the past. Maybe you got separated um, from something that y'all could actually like get over, Right? But just allow God to, 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 to allow things to flow because the food card, you're not resisting. You're not forcing. All right. You just going with the flow. Think about you. Like, think about it. Like you want an umbrella, right? And you allowing that umbrella and you flying through the air with that umbrella and allowing the umbrella to just guide you. All right. Don't, don't rush. Don't force. All right. And I see a fresh start back into something you already started all right if you guys choose all right so um let's get some uh let's get some uh closing out messages for you guys so spirit what does the um what does this queen of wands need to know as some advice as we are closing out what's the closing messages for this queen of wands The truth is coming out for all the injustice <laughs> you've done, for all the corruption 
with legal matters that you've done for all the signatures that you signed illegally. All right. Everything is being brought to light and everyone is being judged according to their doings. All right. And it's looking like you did a lot of things that you ain't want nobody to know. All right. You was doing a lot of things that you ain't want the legal system to know and wanted to cause all of this drama like you ain't live in a glass house. All right. God sees everything for the justice court to come out in reverse. And then the ace of swords. Oh, baby, the truth that is coming out is cutting your ass deep because of the shit that you done with this justice in reverse. All right. The truth is cutting her ass deep for the activities and the conscious decisions and choices, choices she's done to you. And to the world is what I'm hearing. All right. The truth is out. Spirit, what, what was this injustice? <laughs> what was this injustice? I'm telling you guys. For the justice, you over here. These people want people to feel bad for them. They over here ciphering energy because they jealous. They did so much stuff. That is now being brought to light. But then they want to look like this. So everybody can feel bad for them. No. Everybody is getting what they deserve. Spirit. What, what is this injustice? Oh my gosh. She was using children. To, to accumulate funds. She was using, oh, so she broke a divine law. That's why the justice is in reverse. She broke a divine law by being a feminine and having babies just to inherit wealth. That's what she did. She had, she was having children after children. All right. Probably four children just to inherit money. Which is not a lot because after the four of pentacles, you in a five of pentacles. But the, the, that wasn't the gag. It was she was using children. How dare you? All right. Using young souls. I'm telling you, she was of the dark. That is only the dark. Somebody would do that. All right. Somebody just to have babies. Because they have a vagina, all right, to beg for money and use them because they know they got to take care of the child for 18 years. Oh, baby. And she, 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 she did this through the legal system. And she thought that the legal system was over, it was going to overstand God saying, okay. Mm-mm. Yup. See? Because the, the person that she was having these babies with, this is how these masculines was. Like, once they did that, they was unfulfilled with everything. Everything was being drank from them. All right? But don't worry. All right? The angels in divine timing was working to clear everything up. Everything that this person was doing to look like the queen of pentacles. All right? Somebody that was motherly. Somebody that was... Good with money and had a lot of money. All right. And that was head of a household, which because she was the empress, you hear me having the babies. All right. This is how it looked on the outside. It looked like the empress, happy life, happy family, whole time. That ass is under judgment. <laughs> you don't do people like that. You don't do people like that. All right. So that's why you can't judge a book by its cover because on the outside looking in, their intentions. See, like, they didn't want to do the hard work to become the empress. They didn't want to sacrifice relationships to find their, their kingdom spouse. They didn't want to really figure out what they, you know, was creative at, um, creative, creative at and like take time to manifest it and master it to really make money off of it. They did this to, to appear in this way by doing niggas dirty in the justice system. By having babies on top of babies. Look at these men. 
All right, look at these men, look at these babies, all mad babies and not nothing fulfilling them. All right, that's wrong as fuck. And that's how she would do it. She would trap them in the legal system. You hear me? In the legal system. Everything, that love shit went out the window. Nothing, even if these masculines couldn't pay for child support, it wasn't, they would still go to jail or still would, they would still be penalized because that was her motive. That's what they, this is what these guys about do. All right. God is saying, that's why you broke a divine law and being, and being done like this. Because you didn't earn your stripes as an empress. All right. You didn't earn no family. Look what you did. You had to have babies on top of babies. That's not okay. <laughs> and you damn sure didn't earn an honest living when it came to your gifts. Your personal gifts. Allowing it to collaborate with your values and your integrity. You did everything fucked up through the legal system. All right. Um, and now under judgment. All right. So spirit, what else for um, this masculine? What is the advice and the closing messages for this masculine? That's crazy. Hermit mode. All right. Listen to God. All right. For new opportunities. Don't rely on nobody else's understanding. Don't even rely on your own understanding. Rely on God's understanding. Go in and trust yourself. Reprogram yourself. Break yourself out the matrix and listen to God's orders. All right. God is going to give you new opportunities. God is going to give you that new life force and that strength. All right. God knows where to put you. You hear me? Yeah. Look. King of Wands, Three of Wands, and Ace of Wands. God know where to put you. Stop relying on everybody else understanding because it's attached to the dollar. God needs you to go within and hear him. And once you do that, all right, you're able to plan accordingly as the King of Wands, listening to spirit. Okay? Anything else for this King of Wands spirit? All right, big change is happening. Moon. All right, this fucking moon cycle and this eclipse happening in, in a couple of days. This is what is is exposing. Nothing could be hidden no more. Nothing. These people can't act peaceful no more. They have nothing to hold on to no more. Everything is being shown so everybody could be clear on the next steps to do in regards to you you know, path. God is saying you don't even need to do nothing. You just need to see. See past what your eyes are showing you. Because your eyes collide you sometimes. See with your fucking mind. You hear me? Hear with your motherfucking other senses. But it's through feeling. All right? You already intuitively, y'all masculines already know what's going on. Y'all already know the drama. It's now it's time to act and do something about it. Because it's being exposed to you at a grand scale. All right. You got the Queen of Swords right here. All right. It's looking like this Queen of Swords might be using all her strength to make somebody not go back. To make somebody not walk away. This is just God exposing these distorted divine feminines. If y'all was confu confused why the masculines haven't gotten to y'all yet. Some, we living, we chilling. Others... You know what I'm saying? But it's looking like another a feminine. All right. This could be that ear sign. All right. This could be a woman in, in, in somebody's life where that was like a dictator. All right. Also, the justice card in reverse. Whatever she was dictating. All right. It was unjustly. All right. It's that, that's the problem. They were utilizing all their strength instead of healing their own traumas. All right. And tapping and see for a lot of them, they didn't want to tap into their generational strength. They wanted to keep those wounds. All right. It's looking like they were using a lot of strength and to keeping somebody from from moving on. Because I doubt it if she will be using her strength to hold herself back either or it could either be she was using all her strength. 
to hold herself back from moving on or she was utilizing all her strength to hold somebody else back. Either way, it is still going to happen. Look at this eclipse moon. Look at the eclipse moon. That's an eclipse. Whether you are trying your hardest to stop yourself from leaving or somebody else is going to happen. It's going to hurt more. All right. Spirit, give me more on this queen of swords. Who is this king of queen of swords? And these are just feminines in your life. Look. They cannot believe it's over. These comics are going crazy. Everything is exposed. It's a, a, a major tough ending that is approaching. And they are going out of their minds because instead of looking at this as going in hermit mode, they feel they're going to feel isolated. They don't know how to cope with the isolation because they are too distracted by this. At some point, we all got to go to hermit mode. We all got to see the death card. We all, because the will is constantly turning. And the thing is, these comics, the Queen of Wands and that Queen of Swords, they don't want that to happen. But it's going to happen because who you think going to win? Who you going to think? Who you think going to win? The dark, the dark energy or the light? Because a lot of us light beings know how to deal with the dark. We know how to deal with the dark and go right back to the light. To stay in the light. The goal is to stay in the fucking light. That's it. So it's down goes Frasia for those two because of all the injustice things that they've done. All right. Um. What's going on for the um, Divine Feminine, the Collective Spirit? High Priestess, you already know what's up. I'm not even going to pull no more cards because you already know what's up. You already know what's hitting for. A lot of you guys are already in and on your purpose. Y'all already been channeling. Y'all already been tapping into the God within you. All right? Y'all already know about the moon cycles. You are the moon goddess. <laughs> you know how everything cosmically is working right now. And for a lot of us, it's working in our favor because we did our due diligence. We understood the assignment. We weren't fearful. The high priestess is never scared. The high priestess actually likes the dark. She's actually the guard between the veil. All right. She is the medium between the heavens and earth, the spiritual and here. She's very comfortable in her subconscious mind. She's already done, dealt with her fears and her traumas. Now she done reclaimed that ancestral strength. All right. The high priestess is nothing to play with. She's just quiet. Or she's not even quiet. She just talk to the people that she want to talk to. But she could be very mysterious. Right now, a lot of people can't read you guys. And it has them under pressure. Because for a lot of these people, they know that a part of this harsh judgment that they are receiving was because of crossing the line with you. All right, so you and your high priest of divine feminine energy. Again, I don't need to clarify anything else. You already know what's up. The high priest already knows what she needs to know. All right, about herself. And um, I hope this helps. Again, happy Friday the 13th. Don't allow this energy to scare you. It should empower you to do what you need to do to protect yourself and to keep getting these wins, all right? And to learn mastery of self and self-control. Always acts as divine and a higher power, all right, as you go ahead. And I'll see y'all later.